Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And for today's word for Inktober, it is deep. Um, now, for deep, I was trying to think of who's a pretty deep character or who has a deep story or something. Something that like, oh wow, that's deep. You know, just that kind of feeling. And I, I automatically thought of Rafiki from The Lion King. How he's always talking in weird like parables and stuff. And he's always trying to be deep. And he's always trying to like be symbolic about stuff. And remember who you are. I don't know. I don't know, but I thought of Rafiki, and then I thought, I don't really want to draw Rafiki, because I just don't like monkeys. <laughs> I don't like monkeys in general. They're one of my least favorite animals on the planet, uh, next to possums. So, I was trying to think of what's deep. So, I've been wanting to try somehow to make a galaxy out of inks, since I have these beautiful pearlescent colors. And I was just thinking, can I even make a galaxy with these colors? So I was thinking, who's a character that's involved with the galaxy? And how can I incorporate the galaxy somehow? And then I thought of Wally -E from Pixar's Wally. -E. <laughs> this is by far the most aesthetically pleasing way I've ever made a galaxy. Just like you watched, you just saw it with the paintbrush. It is so much fun just like making the swirls. Oh, and when I add my little itty bitty white stars, oh my goodness. It's just so much fun to play with and like pull around and like get like a little toothpick and make little designs. This is a lot of fun. This is the most fun I've ever made with a galaxy. I mean, I've tried all the different mediums of galaxy. Look at this. Just this. this isn't this just so cool? It looks like the top of an icing on a cake. I mean, oh my goodness. I loved it. I loved every single second of it. And then I bring in my paintbrush and I go around and I make the stars swirl. The only downfall to this is it's super thick and it's going to take a lot of time to dry. And I can tell you right now that he doesn't look like this anymore. Like, my little Wally doesn't look like that. The galaxy background doesn't look like that anymore because it wasn't drying in time and I wanted to draw the next day and I had to blotch it with some paper towel and that's sad. <laughs> but, I mean, it's still really pretty. It still has all its colors, but there was just too much puddles and it actually the it made the next page pretty damp which is really weird so yeah but it is so much fun so if you have a chance to make the galaxy with your pearlescent inks if you have some please give it a try it is so much fun but yep so I finished with the galaxy background and I went ahead and I started inking Wally. So when I was inking Wally, I was just thinking I to line him, but I wanted him to be like a part of the background. So I wanted him to like mesh a little bit, even though he's on the outside of it. I wanted him to like blend in a little bit to where it's like, I don't know. I was trying to get the effect that it was more... He, his actual body was more impressionistic as in re me trying to be as realistic as possible of how Wally looks so that's why I didn't get too much into detail because I thought that the black coming from the galaxy coming a little bit close to him was really mm, like it, it just meshed well together so that's why I didn't get super detailed I was just like oh my gosh this looks really cool maybe I can look like you know he's fading into the galaxy by putting black around him but that didn't I didn't really want to do that either just because I wanted him to stand out too. I don't know. This is really difficult for me. I don't know why it was so difficult, but it was. But I love the galaxy. As you can see by the time, I, this was an hour after I was done doodling and look at those puddles not drying. So that's the only downfall, but it is so pretty. Well, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!